Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Clarets News Dealer here on Turfcast with me, Joe Redburn. Now, obviously the most important thing happening at the Football Club is, uh, at the minute is the search for a new manager, of course, after Vincent Company went to Bayern Munich two weeks ago now, just over two weeks ago. Um, so it, it, honestly, it feels like it's been ages, but it's it's just been over two weeks. And there's a lot of people now, and myself included on, on yesterday, so, uh, sure, sorry, saying like, come on, get on with it. But it's, it's been just over two weeks officially since company left. So might be another week or two yet. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, like I said, the most important thing at the club, the most important thing for Alan and the rest of the ball to be getting on with is finding a new manager. And there were some interesting developments yesterday with the bookies. Scott Parker was around six to one when we all went to sleep on Wednesday night when we woke up on Thursday morning he'd been backed in to odds on favourite now I think he was around 3-1 to one on yesterday morning uh, this has now drifted a little bit he's now 5-6 to six. now I've got the odds right in front of me now so what I'm saying he was may or may not be wrong but I, it was a bit more than 5-6 to six odds on I'm sure he was I think he was about 3-1 to one. Uh, and Frank Lampard had drifted all the way out to seven to one. Now, always take the bookies odds with a pinch of salt. I know most of you watching this will be aware of how the bookies odds work, but just for those who don't, they're essentially just responding to any money coming in. And even the rumours on Twitter, like I've said before, I've done work for a bookmakers, and I do remember speaking to the compilers a couple of times. I actually had a mate who worked upstairs in in an office in Leeds when I worked over in Leeds, and I remember chatting to him once, and he he was saying like they've got the data in front of them where all the money's going for that particular market well for any market that they want to get up to be fair for that particular market they do it at this place though and he said they just respond to that that's all they do and he said sometimes they're even just on twitter there's not that much money coming in they'll just have a look on twitter see what the journalists and the fans and all the hearsay is saying and they'll even respond to that as well so i do think this has something to do with yesterday's interviews though in the sense that Scott Parker was probably seen in and around Manchester and, and and it checks out as well right because we were saying that the interviews were in Manchester this week we were saying that Scott Parker was reported to be one of those being interviewed and there you go um, there was actually a tweet that saying that somebody saying they'd seen him on a train going to Manchester this guy didn't have any big number followers and I don't think it even got retweeted and or, or even passed on that much at the time I'd saw it it had literally two likes and, and and one retweet and he wasn't even a Burnley fan didn't use any hashtags but he did say he saw Scott Parker in Manchester yesterday so there may have been a few other sightings even people that work at the hotel who, who know what's happening there who just you know stuck an under, under quid on even there because you're going to aren't you if, if you're that way inclined I personally wouldn't but um, a lot of movement in 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 the odds for the for the manager. But again, like I said, take him with a pinch of salt. But it does obviously tell us a few things that things are happening. Kind of, it may or may. I don't. I don't this doesn't mean he's going to become the new Burnley manager, right? He may well end up being the new Burnley manager. But the book is not just as much as me and you. In fact, they probably know less than me and you because they'll just be like I said, be responding to where the money's going and and stuff. We are trying to be constantly on it as fans aren't we constantly looking but it, it, it makes sense right uh, the current odds for the Burnley manager as as of Friday morning like this is I'm recording this Friday morning for you all so this is if you're watching this Friday morning this is bang on it may have changed a little bit they do they are obviously quite volatile but the odds as of Friday morning are Scott Parker is now the odds on favorite at five to six Frank Lampard is three to one Liam Rossini Five to one. Um, oof, I'm going to butcher this one. Uh, the QPR manager, Kufientes? Kufientes? No idea. I actually like him, to be fair. And there's rumours that he's potentially going to Sunderland, but they won't pay the compensation to QPR. So that there's a bit of a stumbling block there. So I'd, I'd actually take him at Burnley. I'd actually would take him at Burnley. That's it. We're not going to get into that now, now though. Uh, Rude van Nistelrooy. Uh, there's a bit of a gap to the next one. He's fifth favourite, 16 to 1. Then you've got Bellamy all the way out at 18s, who is being interviewed as well, as we all know, or, or I think already has been interviewed. Uh, Thierry Henry at 20s. Absolutely no chance. Uh, Carlos Corberan, 22. I say absolutely no chance. Watch that get clipped up when he's appointed manager. Look at Turfcast, he knows nothing. Um, Carlos Corberan, 22 to 1. Then you've got Steve Cooper, 40. Alan Pardew all the way out at 50. David Moyes, 50. Graham Potter, 50. I do still believe there's a twist in it. I do still believe there's somebody who's not even on the, on the compilers list yet. You know, maybe a name that's not been really mentioned. I, I do think there is a chance of that happening. 
And I think a few people have said that to be fair. Again, that's not me having any, any inside info. I just That's what happened last time. So I'm just going off last time. Company came out of nowhere and bang, he was seen in a pub in Clitheroe, weren't he? Uh, and everyone accused me of editing the pictures because his hands were still white, apparently. It was a real picture. Um, and we proved that in the end. But yeah, there's going to be many twists and turns. But the latest twist in the managerial market is that Scott Parker has been slashed in from around six to one to the five to six odds on favorite but remember always take the bookies odds with a pinch of salt up next is connor roberts who is apparently attracting interest from Leeds united he did of course spend half of last season on loan at ellen road despite playing around 14 games for burnley I saw in the premier league in the first half of the season then obviously fell out of favor and then went to ellen road and then I, if i remember rightly I haven't got this in front of me, but if I remember rightly, when he went to Leeds United, when he officially first went, he made some comments about how big of a club it is and how he wouldn't mind staying there, which, you know, you think, fair enough, you just you just join the club, you're going to try and appease the fans, but saying the bits about staying there, I think, for me, was a little bit like, hmm, it Fair enough, if you want to stay, obviously, it's a big club, depends where Burnley are, um, but according to The Athletic, Leeds are after bringing him back. Now, it's an interesting one, this one, because he didn't actually play too many times for Leeds last season. Like I said, he played around 14, 15, 16 times, but he was, he was actually, for the large part of the season, second or third choice. But according to The Athletic, like I said, Leeds United are gearing up for another promotion push this season. Daniel Farkside missed out on promotion now the last time out when they got battered at Wembley uh, against Southampton. That was um, a decent little watch. Um, it says Roberts, 28, spent part of last season on loan at Ellen Road. He made 14 appearances for the Clarets before moving to Yorkshire where he played 15 games. Oh, there you go. Um, he wasn't the first choice right back for large parts of his time at the Whites, as we've just said, but it is believed he could play a bigger role should he move back there this summer. That's interesting. The Athletic claim that Leeds United are eyeing a permanent move for Conor Roberts, but his future depends heavily on on who takes charge of Burnley following Vincent Company's uh, departure. So that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. I wouldn't mind to see the back of Connor simply because, well, no, I'm going to actually take that back instantly. I think he, I don't think he's going to play a, a massive role for us again this season. I, I get that. I always, You know what it is with Connor? Like, I, I do think he's good and I do like him, but I always get the vibe that he doesn't really want to be here. When he first joined on the Dash, I got that vibe then. Then he had that weird thing on Instagram where he deleted all his, all his Burnley posts because Matt Lawton were playing in front of him, uh, in front of him. Sorry. Um, and then when he goes to Leeds, he says them comments, and I don't know. It just never seems to be like proud that he plays for Burnley. I might be way off here to be fair, and I'm, I'm not slagging Connor off at all. But that's why that's why I just said what I said about I wouldn't be bothered to see the back. In terms of quality, he's okay for the Championship. He did quite well for us last year. I just would like us to have better fullbacks this year. I think that's my main thing. I want us to bring in two new fullbacks. Obviously, Charlie probably leaving. Um, well, well, we'll see. We don't know about that one again. No inside information. But it's been taking a while for that one to get sorted. So to me, I'm thinking, looking like it's potentially going. Um, and then, of course, Connor on the other side. Like I'd like to see Connor. I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see him stay as potentially backup, but. Would he want that if a club like Leeds come for him? He's going to want to go to Leeds. And I think because of the comments he said earlier on, he's going to want to go to Leeds as well. And I did see a picture that his wife put up um, on Instagram on the final day of the season when they lost at Wembley. Um, so let's say an upset. I think I had a sad face or something. I can't remember exactly. So apologies if this is a little bit off. Um, but it had like a, a sad face and said, uh, we will miss you, Leeds. Um, and I don't remember them doing stuff like that when they left Burnley. But this is me, like, guys, you might be thinking you're talking absolute rubbish, Joe. That's me. I, I look far too much into these little intricate details like that. I always have done. I get hung up on these little details like, why is Conor Roberts not posting a million Burnley pictures? But then when he goes to Leeds, he posts, you know, loads. Why is his missus putting that? I, 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 think, I, think, I think that's just my brain not being wired rate as we say in Burnley but maybe I'm looking into it too much I don't know but the crux of it is Leeds United are looking to take Connor Roberts back to Ellen Road on a permanent move this summer but that's interesting we'll have to see what develops with that one finally the last one that we'll be talking about today is Callum O'Hare again that guy's name keeps rearing its head doesn't it now apparently will be leaving Coventry 
on a free this summer because he's refused to sign a new contract. But apparently the latest news at the minute is that he could potentially be going to one of either Burnley, Southampton or Leeds United. Now, I love my football club, but with the greatest of respect, if there's a Premier League club in there, you would think he's going to be going to the Premier League club, right? I guess it depends on on, on who we bring in as manager. You know, if Rude Van Nistelrooy or Thierry Henry or Oli Solskjaer come in, you know, a manager with some pull that he wants to play under, who knows? He could end up wanting to choose Burnley out of those three. But I would doubt that if a Premier League club are interested, he will be coming to us. Uh, but this is from Team Talk, by the way, teamtalk.com. I'll always put a disclaimer out there with certain websites. Team Talk are one of the ones that I do feel just like to throw enough crap and see if some of it sticks eventually. Um, but on an article, uh, article, article on their website, it says exclusive. Leads to rival Southampton and Burnley for quality Coventry star who's rejected a new contract. Leeds United have joined Southampton and Burnley in the chase for Coventry City attacker Callum O'Hare. Team Talk can exclusively reveal O'Hare is set to leave Coventry on a free transfer when his contract expires later this month, having turned down the offer of a new deal. A number of clubs, including nearly from north to Southampton and relegated Burnley, are weighing up moves for O'Hare, but now Leeds have expected an interest in the attacking midfielder too. So we already knew Burnley were looking at him. It seems to be a name that's been banded around for two years. Company was obviously a very big fan. Uh, maybe it's Bellamy. Maybe Bellamy's the big fan, and that's why we're still looking at him. Obviously, with Bellamy still currently at the club, he may or may not get the manager's role again. Obviously, we'll see. But it's interesting. Do I think we will be able to attract Callum O'Hare to the club? Even before I read that article, I did think that like he's going to be leaving Coventry for a Premier League team, right? This is why he's not signed his new deal. He wants to play in the Premier League. We are not in the Premier If we're in the Premier League, I think we could potentially get him. But obviously we're not. Do I think we'll be there or thereabouts next season? Probably. But it depends on, on who we get in the manager. There's still quite a lot up in the air at the minute. But um, if Callum fancies another promotion push then Leeds and Burnley are both be good fits because I did actually originally say I think Leeds would struggle but with their new massive greatest ever sponsorship uh, from Red Bull who've invested a lot of money in that club because they have a lot of debt to Leeds because they pushed the boat out so much last year but obviously with the amount of money that Red Bull are putting in they'll probably be okay and I think I think they will be challenging against us next season which is good man two famous old clubs that are, t are relatively close with a bit of needle already between them because of the proximity of the two clubs it'll be a good battle at the top hopefully we'll come out on top hopefully we are battling up at the top I know there's some people in the comments that, all, that, that have said previously they think we'll finish bottom half um, I get it there's anxiety at the minute because we don't know who's coming in we don't know who's leaving we don't know who the manager is we don't even know what the kit is we don't even know what the pre-season friendlies are right but surely when everything settles down we'll be fine but yeah Team Talk are reporting that Burnley are interested in Callum O'Hare but again it's Team Talk take it with a pinch of salt um, and it's been a name that's been banded around for quite a while, to be fair. So there's probably something in it, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't think he goes to another championship club. I don't think he leaves Coventry for another championship club, if I'm being honest. I think he goes to the Premier League. But that's it for for the, for today, and that's it for the full week. Obviously, we're, we're just going to be doing the, the daily news shows every weekday. At the weekend, I won't be doing it, mainly so I can focus on the debate shows, but I'm not sure if we're doing a debate show this week because I'm doing two 12-hour shifts over in Manchester on Saturday and Sunday, so I'm not sure if we'll get the chance to do any. Regardless, the Claritch News Daily, the Claritch Daily News, will be back on Monday. Let me know in the comments, as usual, what you think about the stories in this show, and if I don't see you at the weekend, which I don't think I will, we will see you on Monday for the next News Roundup. <laughs>